Yikes, the electricity bill. But just what makes up the price of electricity in Europe anyway? Let's follow the path taken by electricity. It starts in a power plant, either thermal, nuclear or renewable, for example, wind turbines. This is the production part. Then the electricity travels long distances on a network of high voltage lines. This is the transportation element. It's then distributed locally on a low voltage network. This is the distribution component. When it reaches your meter, this is the supply part. In the European Union, where the market has been opened up, any electricity producer or supplier can access transport and distribution networks to supply its customers, which encourages competition. Three cost factors combine to make up the final price of your kilowatts. The first is production, which accounts for 40 to 50 percent. Either your supplier produces the electricity or buys it from a producer or on an exchange. Its price varies depending on market conditions, such as the balance between supply and demand and the cost of fuels. Then your supplier sells the electricity at a price that includes its costs, its profit and the services provided. The second factor is delivery to your meter, which accounts for 30 to 40 percent. Energy regulators in each member state set prices for this cost element. Third and last are charges and taxes, which make up 10 to 30 percent of the price. Since the market has been opened up, you can influence the price of electricity and the amount of your bill by bringing competition between suppliers into play. So don't hesitate to compare offers. What about the most economically vulnerable consumers? They're protected by lower rates. When all's said and done, let's bear in mind that the least expensive and least polluting electricity is electricity that's not consumed. 